almost all the car manufacturers across the globe are already in the race of researching and developing an alternative fuel for engines running on petrol and diesel. During this electric vehicle revolution, the flex engines are also getting popular in some countries. So, what is a flux engine? A flex fuel engine is an internal combustion engine. This engine has the feature to run on more than one fuel or even a mixture of fuels. Generally, a mixture of petrol with ethanol or methanol is used in these types of engines. Flex fuel vehicles are therefore not the same as bi-fuel vehicles, which have separate tanks for each different fuel type they use. like a car that runs on petrol as well as CNG are termed as bi-fuel. The fuel tank and CNG cylinder are different, that makes sense. The flex engine can adjust the mixture in any quantity that is provided which is mainly due to the suitable ECU programming and fuel composition sensor. What if we say, an engine that runs on regular petrol can also run on flex fuel? Yes, that is correct. With the help of slight modifications, any car with spark ignition engine can run on flex fuel. The modifications include a couple of additional sensors in the fuel tank. These sensors can detect the percentage of ethanol in the fuel and its microprocessors adjust the fuel injection and timing. Why flex fuel? A flex fuel contains anywhere from 15 to 85 percent ethanol. Ethanol burns cleaner than gasoline, which means flex fuel cars pump fewer toxic fumes into the environment. Flex fuel also contributes fewer greenhouse gases, making it a more environmentally friendly option than traditional gasoline and ethanol is sustainably produced from ingredients such as cane sugar and corn. This makes ethanol a good alternative for countries which are largely depending on foreign oil. While it's great that flex fuel can be sustainably produced using corn and sugar, its production comes with a downside. Because any crops that are made available for fuel production cannot be used for any other use. This could lead to higher prices for products like animal feed that could otherwise be derived from them. Corn, in particular, is a labor-intensive crop to cultivate and is prone to drought, bad weather conditions and disease. So when corn price rises, gradually the fuel price will also rise. One of the main concerns about driving a flex fuel car is its gas mileage. While some experts assert that flex fuel vehicles have similar mileage as regular fuel-powered vehicles, others claim they have lower gas mileage. While ethanol does raise a vehicle's octane level, it contains less energy. In other words, it will take 1.5 times more to provide the same energy levels. So, yes, you will get fewer miles per gallon using ethanol. However, Ethanol costs less than regular gasoline, so the savings should more than offset the mileage loss. The debates surrounding the pros and cons of flex fuel and flex fuel vehicles aren't going away anytime soon. However, there does seem to be a move toward using ethanol as an environmentally friendly and economical fuel source. More ethanol refining plants are opening up, and even if you're not ready to transition to a flex fuel vehicle yet, it's something to keep in mind for the future. Technology is always changing, so there's no way to predict what flex fuel vehicles and advances could emerge over the next few years.